thank you all for coming and uh, I'd like to thank my wife Terry um, who's with me and my son Jamie uh, we have two that are two other children that are not with us today uh, my daughter is a freshman at Texas Christian University in Fort Worth Texas go frogs um, and my son Stephen is finishing up his tech school at Marine Corps Air Station New River as he's going to be a CB-22 crew chief for the Osprey and then heading off to Herbal Air Force Base to be a special ops uh, crew chief for the Air Force. As many of you are aware, I've been considering and doing my due diligence on deciding whether or not to challenge for the 2nd Congressional District with Ann Custer. I have a message for the citizens of the great state of New Hampshire, a message that is loud, unequivocal, and clear. I will not mince words. We are coming back to take our state. We're going to come back to take our state from a representative that is more concerned with their personal agenda than the agenda of this great state. Some people have asked me, why are you running? The answer is simple. The state of New Hampshire deserves better. It's owed better. It's owed the representation of someone who can restore New Hampshire's common sense to Washington. We have such talented people in our state, a rich history and the ability to make real change. I want to be part of a movement that returns the state to the people to return a government restrained only by the Constitution. I've been fortunate. I've been able to live the American dream. I've enjoyed it through the lens of a son of a 33-year Air Force veteran, my dad, Chief Master Sergeant Jamie Negron. My father instilled in me three core values, self-discipline, integrity, and commitment that hard work creates results, that one considers New Hampshire's needs before self, but this accountability starts with you, and it's always easier to blame someone else. These words ring truer today than they did when I was first learning the lesson. I worry, though, that this opportunity are slipping away for our sons and daughters, that our moral fabric is being stretched to a point of tearing where New Hampshire's rock-solid values once stood strong. Values that this great state was built upon. That attack on our mobile fiber must stop. So who is representing the Granite State? Who will stand up for our principles of self-discipline, integrity, and commitment? Custer? Representative Custer has demonstrated clearly year after year after year her loyalty isn't to the citizens of this great state. They are to her own personal and party agenda. Representative Custer is a reliable party line vote. She consistently votes with Democrats more than 90% of the time. In 2013, 95% of the time. 14, 91% of the time. 15 through 16, 94% of the time. And to date, 95% of the time of the party. And this is a performance she was crit critical of of her past opponents. Just to put Representative Custer's position within a Democratic caucus in D.C. clearly in focus, since 2013, Ann Custer was more liberal and ideological than San Francisco's Pelosi. It's time for a change, and change is coming. In order to restore New Hampshire to its rightful place of prominence, one thing is for certain, we cannot and we must not dilute our values or give up our principles. The message of liberty is for all Americans, Americans from all walks of life. The message of liberty, opportunity, and justice is for all, whether you wear a suit, a uniform, or overalls. If we, as a Republican Party, nominate a candidate who simply goes along and doesn't challenge issues on behalf of our state, why bother? What's the point? We need to boldly proclaim our vision for our state. We need to go boldly forth under this banner of liberty that clutches the Constitution in one hand and the Bill of Rights in the other. Washington is horribly broken. I agree with Senator Rand Paul when he said, I fear it can't be fixed from within. We the people must rise up and demand action. Growing up in a military family, patriotism ran in my blood. So much so, I have been surrounded by patriots my whole life. 
Some may not have strapped on the boots, but nonetheless love this country just as much. I served proudly and retired from the Air Force in 1998. I was an ICBM missile combat crew commander, an acquisitions officer, and a space officer. My wife served 30 years, retired as a colonel. My father served 33 years and retired as a chief master sergeant, the highest enlisted rank in the Air Force. My father-in-law served both in the Army and the Marine Corps. He was a paratrooper and served in Korea. My sister served, and when the Minuteman ICBM career field was open to females, she was one of the six females throughout the entire Air Force that was selected to participate in that career field. My nephew was in the Army and served 10 years, three combat tours, two in Iraq and one in Afghanistan. And now our son is finishing up his training, as I said earlier, to be a CV-22 crew chief. From the time I was a very young boy, I was taught to love and appreciate this country. America to me is a shining light, a light that will never extinguish so long as we keep our values intact. We need to take our, straight, our, our great state back. In order to do that, we have launched a website to promote what I am calling the 242 Citizens Coalition. Why 242? Next year will be the 242nd year of our citizen legislature. That's what we need to bring back to Washington. The fact that we're citizens first and not professional politicians. This coalition invites people to join my call for accountability and reform in Washington. We need to come together in a grassroots manner to rescue our state from individuals who are adrift without the beacon of New Hampshire in their sights. Join my 242C2 coalition and together we will create a new vision for New Hampshire. So today I announce with God's help and with the help of my family and my friends and with the help of Granite Staters everywhere that I am putting myself forward as a candidate for New Hampshire's 2nd Congressional District because this is your seat. God bless you. God bless New Hampshire and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.